So what's a Pratch? So it's the physical random access channel. This is the first communication from the mobile to the network. And it's done at a time when the mobile doesn't know where it is. So there's issues in terms of, of timing advance, etc. Um, and this Pratch is used for initial access for camping on the cell and also for actual call setup or for handover. And um, you've got to send a Pratch on the right frequency uh, with the right power and the right timing advance based on the actual distance that you are from the, from the base station. Now for frequency range 1, which is the sub 6 gigahertz, Pratch has no spatial properties to speak of because essentially we're talking about an omnidirectional system. And we know that uh, low frequency uh, mobiles, FR1, there's very little directionality about the uh, mobile and also almost no beam steering as such. Maybe a bit of switching, but no beam steering. So the Pratch requirements for frequency range 1 are very simple. They're all based on power, power timing and frequency. And all the requirements are, are measured using cables. And we understand this very well. At frequency range 2, which is the above 24 gigahertz aspects, we have to add the spatial domain. And that's what this talk is all about. Because we're now dealing with narrow beamwoods, and there's no meaning to the power of a signal if you're looking in the wrong direction. 